Owen Wilson turned down a $12 million role in a film that depicted O.J. Simpson as innocent of the 1994 double murders. Okay, o Owen Wilson's clearly racist. That's the only... <laughs> logical explanation? <laughs> yeah, that's the only connection you can make with that. Like, the only one. Um, let's see. If, let's see. Uh, following a, the recent death of famed NFL player O.J. Simpson, it's now being learned that after Owen Wilson turned down a $12 million role in a film that depicts Simpson as innocent of the 1994 double murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and 25-year-old waiter, Ron Goldman. According to the Hollywood Reporter, writer and director Joshua Newton told them that he and Owen Wilson met to discuss a new film in the works titled The Juice, which would have seen Wilson taking on the role of Douglas McCann, the real-life attorney who represented O.J. Simpson in a civil case in 2000. The Juice, which is described as a satirical thriller, stars Charlotte Kirk and Nicole, Nicole Brown and Boris Kojo as O.J. Simpson, but is primarily focused on his attorney, Douglas McCann. Newton said he has been working on the film since 2015, and according to IMDb, the film is currently in pre-production with an expected release for October 2025. 20, Damn, it took that white boy 10 years to make this movie. The IMDb site also describes McCann as a street smart L.A. attorney who risks everything when conspiracy theorists draw him into the divisive O.J. Simpson saga. It's reported that McCann got sucked into the various theories stemming from O.J. Simpson's 1995 criminal trial, of which he was acquitted in 1996. Okay, so let's see what they're saying about this. Let's see what the black folk are saying about this, man. Funny how they say O.J. is guilty, but you look at Trump's long history and his people say he's innocent of everything. Wow. Thanks, Ice Cold. <laughs> They always bring it up Trump. <laughs> they always bring up anything that don't make sense. That ain't got shit right. to do with the story. Right. I, I've been hearing uh some conspiracies recently and it's fucking incredible. Yeah, no, he's he's innocent. Like, listen, sons have bullied that shit. More black people saying he's innocent now than ever before. <laughs> I used to hear some black people like, man, that nigga did that shit, man. It used to be a debate. Now, if you say he did it, you're racist. If you say he did it, you're a coon. Look, look, OJ didn't do it, and George was assassinated. He didn't overdose. Oh, yeah, they rewrite history. Nobody rewrites history better than black people. And he was a civil yeah. rights activist, George. A hero in my books. It says, um, turning down 12 million on something you don't know to be factual is the dumbest ish I've ever heard. Depicts him as innocent. He was innocent in real life, wasn't he? White mm. people will forever be mad that one blackie got away. <laughs> right, the one. He's the only one. Yeah. Oh, man. If we only had gotten that one. Man. We be perfect, perfect from the field. Yeah, man. perfect score. <laughs> right, right. Think about how Lord delusional that, that comment is, though. And they he, they believe that, but think about it. But here, here's the thing: Wicked, I think you're looking at this wrong. Excuse me. Um, I don't think you're looking at it the right way, man. Think about. Look at the test scores. Look at the SAT test scores. Look at the achievement. This is in line with that. These comma sections are aligned with a group that is last in every academic metric. True. If we went on these comma sections, these people were rational, reasonable, and informed. Then you could say, well, God damn it, man. Look, there ain't no way these people, they, they, somebody, the white man doing something with their test scores, fudging them or something, because these people are rational, they're reasonable, and they're always informed. Yeah, you no, got me there, too. Out. Yeah, you got me there. Yeah, man. Um, this is this is this is these and listen. These are black people that are lawyers. These are not like 
hood boogers on these websites. The hood boogers is in the hood. They on the streets. They doing what they doing. They in the hood, living the hood life. The people that's on these on the shade room and on Hollywood Unlocked commenting and debating these things, these are nurses. These are um, secretaries. The future. These are students. Yeah, these are hairdressers. Future these air are traffic bus controllers. Drivers. Yeah, these ain't. These ain't. This ain't Shanique Wood as you know pulling somebody tracks out on Martin Luther King Avenue at a bus stop. Even though they're on here too, but I'm just saying, like the majority of the people here, these is like sisters that got to, that you're gonna see on the bus coming or the train coming home from work on rush hour. Um, he ain't no twelve million dollar actor. Okay, so mm. okay, yeah, man, that's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, now they going at him, Owen. The one with the kids he ignores for fun. Oh yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> they'll never do that. Uh oh, they going at it. Like, so now, like they starting to attack him, like because he, <laughs> he wouldn't take the role. Damn. Um, he pays child support and other expenses, but refuses to even see the kid. Messed up. Oh man, not niggas, bro. <laughs> oh man, not I some people talking about. Oh my god, <laughs> the pot calling the kettle black. Ooh. Right, no pun intended. I and he absolutely, and he absolutely takes care of those boys of his. I don't know. Maybe he he doesn't trust me himself, or maybe he doesn't trust himself around little girls. Um, um, all right, yeah. I had uh, some people implying that a glider trying to help them is a pedophile on my bingo card, I think. Mm. Yo, there's none in support of him? There's, like, not one support in this thing? It, it's getting ugly. Um, I don't know. It's getting ugly. Like, they did now they're attacking him as a pedophile. Like, yo, yeah. all because, like, maybe he had, a, like, here's the thing. They don't even know if he had another film that he had. Like, they had four or five film offers at that time, and he chose another one. Maybe it wasn't because he thought OJ was guilty. Did, <laughs> did, that hasn't, nowhere did it say that was the reason right. he didn't take the role. But facts don't matter, though, right? Anyway. Yeah. But even like and now, even if he did, it, of course, I wouldn't. It, it doesn't mean anything to me. I, I don't care if he, if, if he turned down the role on that basis, but. It's just like, look how messy it's gotten already. Like, it didn't take long to get messy and talk about his kids and <laughs> just like, yo, these people are sick, man. It says, of course he did. One thing those 811s know how to do is stick together. What's it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, kettle black. I'm assuming that's us, but I'm not familiar with that terminology. Yeah, 811. What the fuck is that? Do you know? But yeah, we we gliders always stick together. Right. The yeah, pot calling the kettle black. It's like obvious, in that video man. earlier. Yeah, man. Black white people are like. Or if, when if that you... glider girl got attacked, in the you know a couple days ago. Yeah, white people Which like one. Which glider girl? There's too many. Oh, I lost yeah. count. You know. <laughs> The one that uh dropped the mag out of the Sun Man's gun. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Man. That, oh, that one, bro. This, this how you know, like, this shit is just pure tribalism. Cause, yeah. bro, when he was alive, he was like a meme for for coons, bro. He was like they literally just whenever you said uh OJ Simpson name, they would just say, "I'm not black, I'm OJ." And the yeah. nigga married a white woman, bro. Up until he caught the case. Bro, and when he, after he beat the case, he never popped up with a black woman. He was strictly white women for the uh, um, for the last 30 years after he beat that case. He had a type. Yeah, definitely. And, and now he getting protected, bro. This, Yo. This, bro, it's tribalism, Hatred, bro. Hated that, hated that man so much he was found innocent. And they ignored it for years. The crazy thing is, these are the same type of people who tell us to trust the system all the time. 
Then when trusting the system does not work in their favor, they won't let it go. Wow, that's a hell of a conclusion. Uh, he drew a lot from this. Yeah, and, but like, who the fuck talks about OJ anymore? You know, like they act like black talking people. about what are you stuff. talking about? Yeah, I know, I know. Just black people. I just find it funny that they talk like any yeah. white person's ever been talking about this. Well, all it takes is one white person anywhere to say anything, and it's all white people. You haven't figured that out yet. Oh yeah. But, th- but think about that comment. I this one incident, he he he. It's a condemnation on the on the fucking system. Yeah, it's just insane. These people, these people are sick, man. I mean, black people are sick. We have a a, a spirit of 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 just ridiculousness he didn't do it but he know who did it it was either his son or the theory of a drug deal going bad people really think he killed two people by himself and got on a plane and flew to chicago get the fuck out of here the fuck are you talking about man the guy was a football (laughs) player he's a fucking huge motherfucker he killed a woman and some smaller dude like (laughs) <laughs> right, and the woman, like, all he had to do was kill the guy first while the woman's screaming or, or in the fetal position in the corner. The woman he's been beating for the last 20 years. Like, I mean, like... <laughs> wow. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It really all was just have in to the, do he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, man. That's all that happened yeah. to him. Yeah, all I you mean, have to do is kill Goldman. That's basically yeah. all. All he had to do is kill Goldman, and 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 then find wherever Nicole was hiding and go. Right. Like, <laughs> Yo, but then I mean, wasn't there like a lot of blood in his pipes in his house? Like what the all fuck, that man? shit? But these these listen. Some people don't know any of that. They still think. Kyle Rittenhouse killed three black people. True, uh, true. So some people, you're talking about a case from 30 years ago. They would like they don't know, man. And even right. if they did, even right. if they did, <laughs> right. Rest in peace, that may tell. He turned down 12 mil because he's afraid a lot of his fan base might now now fuck with him after white people would took that shit. And this is a white guy. Who's this appears that's to be a, a glider, guy. yeah. Yeah, that's a white guy. So much for that well, tribalism, huh? Yeah, what, what's yeah. His, he's not part of the Mayo Coalition? Yeah. The 811 crew? Yeah, 811s. Like, we're together. <sighs> oh, you ain't no 811, wicked. Yeah, you ate damn eight eleven. Yeah, I don't like even know five five. You know, <laughs> what does it even mean? I mean, does I don't anybody? Know, know? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know if that what he said was true because sons say all type of crazy ass shit about other races and white people, and white people still support him. Yeah, facts. I really wish black folks would stick by each other like them Caucasians do for their kind. Them folks be idolizing serial killers with not a problem to them. Skin folks need unity. ASAP. Uh, uh, hold up. 811, noun, a term to use to refer to white people, referring to the standard size of white printer paper, which is 8 by 5 by 11 inches. There's another 8 by 811 kissing a dog on the mouth, uh, is how it would be used in the sentence. What? Wow. Racism. Wow. Who do you think wrote that? That was a wow. 2023 definition on Urban D- a Dictionary. Wow. What the I, that's a little inventive. I'll give him some credit for that. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Shout out to Urban Dictionary. They got me They got me on there. Gliders. Mm-hmm. Gliders is on um, Urban Dictionary. So, so they... Um, they up to date with all all the slang, man. Shit. Um, all white people think he did it. All black people think he didn't. America in the same place has always been. Whites hate blacks unless we entertaining them. <laughs> I thought he was on to something. I really thought he was on to something to that last sentence. 
I thought he was gonna be like, yeah. bigger, you know what I'm saying? Like this country, we need to get, we need to do better. Nah, he went straight pro black. <laughs> Never fail. <laughs> Yo, I, I'm sure we're gonna come across one son logical person at some point. Doubt it. <laughs> 